All right, guys, good morning. It's Saturday morning. I figured I'd start off the vlog looking fabulous. I have on my Origins charcoal mask. Haven't used it in a while, but I, yesterday and the day before, I filmed two Foundation Fridays, and I feel like I need to pull all of the crap out of my skin right now. So I wanted to put on a charcoal mask, and then I just have on my Amazon under eye mask that I love. I always talk about these. I'll link these down below. I'm gonna make some iced coffee. This is what I've been doing every single morning. This is my little Nespresso pod thing I got off of Amazon. I need to add some more, but these are the cups I've been using. They're limited edition, so I need to stock up. But these are the ice pods. I just put them in like a little blender bottle. I don't know why, but it tastes so much better with like a metal straw in this cup. I don't know why, but iced coffee tastes amazing in here. You can recycle these pods too. You just keep them, and then you can send them back to Nespresso. I think you can also like drop them off at certain locations, but I just do one shot and I fill up the ice like halfway and then I add some things in there that I'll show you guys once that's brewed. All right, once that's done, I add a little bit of almond milk and some creamer. I just add a splash of unsweetened almond milk and then a splash of this creamer. This is the Cold Stone Sweet Cream creamer. I only put creamer in my iced coffee. I just drink black regular coffee, like hot coffee, but iced coffee tastes so good with a little bit of this in there. I just add like a touch. I went to the drugstore, so I'm gonna show you guys a mini little like drugstore haul. And I also got a Bath & Body Works order in. So Bath & Body Works was having a soap sale online and I actually needed new soaps. I'm like almost out of the one in my bathroom and in my kitchen. So I basically just picked up a bunch of soaps and I got a couple of room sprays too. This one has already been in my bathroom, put it in there yesterday and it smells so good. This is the Winter Citrus Wreath. This has a really good like after smell. Is that a thing? Like after you wash your hands with it, it smells even better than like the initial scent. This one has a beautiful packaging i feel like they should make all of their kitchen ones in this packaging it's black with the yellow lemons so pretty this is the fresh balsam and this smells heavenly it smells like a tree and then from the drugstore i picked up a few random things that one thing i actually went there for like i really wanted to try crest white strips again because i have a video talking about my whitening situation like my routine and it's exactly the same to this day that video was filmed like a few years ago but I wanted to give these another shot because I saw someone on Instagram talking about them and she has super white teeth and these are just very easy like it comes pre you don't have to put anything in the strip I tried these a few years ago and I stopped using them because I got so sensitive my teeth got so sensitive that when I would like breathe in you could feel it so I'm gonna try and just keep these on for like less time I got more eye drops I have super red eyes. I always have. I don't know why. I don't smoke or anything. I just get red eyes. My eyes get like super irritated with certain eyeshadows and whatever. So I always have to have eye drops. I use these every single day. Got my hair dye. This is like one of my go-tos. This one lasts amazing in my hair. And if you're looking for a super blue black, this is what I use. I know people are very anti-box dye, but I don't plan on lightening my hair anytime soon, if ever, again. So... You know, I don't really mind. This, since I drink iced coffee every day now, I wanted to get another blender bottle and I loved the color of this. It's like almost red, but still has a little bit of hot pink in there. And then I just got this basket because whenever I film and I'm like pulling product to use in the video, I don't have a big enough basket. I just used like one of my acrylic little things and everything's like falling out. So I just wanted to get a filming basket that I could basically throw like whatever in. I'm gonna try one of these, I think. Today is actually Halloween night, or it's like Saturday night before Halloween. So we are gonna go out tonight, so it might not be the best night to try these in case I do get like super sensitive teeth again. We're just gonna chill on actual Halloween, but the Saturday before is when like everyone goes out here. So uh, I'm gonna be a bear and my best friend is being a hiker. And so I got these pretty epic bear leggings. I'll, I'll show you guys later, but I need to make bear ears today. So I'm gonna go pick her up. We're gonna go to the craft store, uh, Rach, and then we're gonna work on our costumes and then start getting ready together. And then we're all gonna go out and I think someone is having like a house party or something. Thing, I'm not really sure. So this vlog is just gonna be a bunch of random vlog footage like usual. I did post a vlog when you guys are seeing this it'll have been a couple weeks ago and I don't think people realized it was a vlog because <laughs> I didn't do my usual like vlog thumbnail but I'm, I think I'm gonna switch it actually back to that but it was the Memphis vlog. I vlogged weddings, some random stuff, a haul, like there was a ton of stuff in that vlog so I'll link that in the eye and down below if you missed last vlog. I just have two different <laughs> eyeshadow 
looks on right now because I'm just playing around with different palettes. I just have been wiping off my eyes like 50,000 times, hence why my face is like hella red and stuff. But it's actually the next morning, the morning after we went out for Halloween. But this is what I do to try out more products and stuff because obviously if I filmed every product in every video, it would not happen. I'm trying to do a compilation video of the best new eyeshadow palettes under... I'm trying to make it under $15. We'll see. It might be under $20. Just like playing around with them just to make sure that the ones that I'm including are legit for you guys. And yeah, I just do like 20 different eyeshadow looks and I just keep like wiping it off and swatching and playing around with them. So this is the part of YouTube that you guys don't see. I need to wash my hair. So last night was super fun. We went to like a karaoke bar for a friend of a friend's birthday called Hula Hula in Capitol Hill. We just like went around Capitol Hill and it was so packed everywhere and it was pouring pouring rain That's why my hair definitely needs to be washed right now It has like a shit ton of hairspray in it waiting if I want to have like a major edit day and get a couple videos edited I love getting stuff done on Sunday because then I don't feel like super guilty if I don't get a lot done Monday Because I'm like, okay, well I already got most of that done Sunday anyways, so I'm gonna get some work done. I also need to clean this room so badly. I don't even wanna show it to you guys. This table's a disaster. My clothes need to be put away from a trip last weekend. This is what's happening. This is actually fabric off of Amazon that I'm using as a reflector for when I film. So it just like bounces the light back up and it gives you kind of like more of a warm light since it's gold rather than silver. So it is 2.32 right now and I have not eaten lunch yet. So I'm very excited because I literally just got my HelloFresh box, this beauty. So thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this portion of the vlog. I freaking love HelloFresh because I never know what to make and they make it super easy because they literally give you meals, instructions, ingredients, everything is pre-measured so you don't have to think about it. I always get the veggie box but you can switch between veggie, classic, and family depending on what you're feeling that week. Ooh, okay, we have a cauliflower stir fry bowl, grilled cheese and veggie jumble. Oh, that's funny, I actually just made, is this halloumi? This looks like halloumi cheese. Chickpea powered Mediterranean couscous. Ooh, that sounds bomb too. I think I'm gonna do the couscous. This has a prep time of 10 minutes. I'm all about that right now because I'm starving. And it says total 30 minutes. Most of their meals take around 30 minutes, so it's super fast. Chopping. We've got the chickpeas ready to roast. Couscous is looking good. I took the veggies out because I like mine a little bit like firmer. Okay, camera. I wish I just caught that on camera, but I legit just had a chickpea pop in my face. This is why I'm an A plus cook and need HelloFresh in my life. Yum, it looks like it is just about plating time, people. Lemon seeds and couscous are very hard to distinguish. Mm, it smells so good just for curb appeal. I'm going to chop this lemon because I am a chef who's using a counter as a cutting board right now. I think it looks pretty, pretty close, right? It's just so nice to already have a meal. Like you don't have to spend your time grocery shopping and meal planning and everything because I literally just tell you what to put together and boom. Okay, taste test time. Wow, that was a lot of teas. Mmm. I wasn't expecting that flavor at all. But this is so good. It has almost like a tomatoey sauce. It must have been the stock. I put like some vegetable stock in. And I have roasted tomatoes in here. HelloFresh is now from $6.99 per meal. So you can get the most meal for your moolah. You know what I'm saying? They're hooking you guys up with six free meals. You get two in your first three boxes for free. If you want to try it out, you can head to HelloFresh.com, enter the promo code thetaila 60 That'll give you a total of $60 off between those first three boxes. 10 out of 10, would recommend. Yum. Cheers, Lahayim. So today has been one of those health days. Okay, I have a neighbor who can't lock their car one time. Like every time she comes home, she locks it like 15 times. There was two, she's gonna do it again. I got out of the house at like, there she goes, at like three o'clock to go get a massage. Usually if I get a massage, I'll have like a couple days of relief if my body isn't like super effed up. I actually went to a new lady who was amazing and she seemed like she really knew her shit. And she was like, there's no way your body should be feeling like this at 26 years old. And I was like, yep. <laughs> What do you want me to tell you, lady? So I feel decent enough right now to like try and 
get some small things done. I think I'm gonna try and edit a video. But I just wanna to talk to you guys because I feel like a lot of time I get asked how I am productive and get stuff done while having chronic health issues. And I just like tried to sit down in my filming room and hype myself up to film and it just wasn't happening. Like, I think I just, especially in the last year, I think I've just learned to listen to my body more or try to and not be too hard on myself if I can't physically do something. It can just be so frustrating when you mentally have like 10,000 things you wanna get done that day, but physically can't do a single one and you feel like you're just having the most unproductive day ever whenever I have a day like this I just try and remember that when I do feel good to make the most out of it with that being said I am starting aim of egg month two I think tomorrow actually I just picked up the shot so far I haven't noticed anything I'm upping the dose for this next month I'm taking 140 milligrams first month I only took 70 so what I usually do on nights like this is just hope that tomorrow I'm feeling good watch some modern family because that usually puts me in a good mood and yeah there's nothing there's nothing else you can really do besides remember that good health days are coming hopefully soon and hope for the best because if not you just drive yourself crazy and you're getting like this frustrated mental downward spiral welcome this service is provided by freeconferencecall.com. If you are the host, press star now. Otherwise, please wait and you will be joined into the conference. All right, so this next one is by e.l.f. This is their new Opposites Attract palette. All right, I just filmed the eyeshadow palette video. I've been talking about this whole video, this whole vlog, feels like. But now I need to do, I'm not going to do swatches, but I'm going to do close-up shots. So I think I'm going to try and film that in this area of the desk. Use this part of the table as a black backdrop. So I'm going to move around the camera and everything. This is filming attire right here. Sweats, crop top, sweater. All you guys see is here up. I can't breathe or else it'll shake. Now we get to clean all this up. By the way, I tried again today the Lawless Foundation and I set it with that Physician's Formula Mineral Powder Foundation I've been really liking and I'm really liking it right now. Just got my Sephora order in the mail for things I ordered during the VIB sale, so I thought I would show you guys. I've heard so much about this bronzer. So that's what it looks like on the inside. Might be a bit dark, but we'll see the tone looks nice. So I picked up the Dr. Jart BB Cream for Foundation Friday. This thing I had never heard of, it just like popped up on my recommended thing, but this is the Pout Volumizing Lip Serum, Sparkling Rosé. Okay, this is sealed so I can't do this with one hand, but that's that. I love the scent of the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, so I wanted to get their body spray. This is Brazilian Crush. This is the CoverFX Power Play Concealer in the shade PL1. That's what the shade looks like. Ooh, that looks like it's going to be a good undertone, hopefully. And then I'm on the hunt for a replacement for my Morphe G38 brush since I discontinued it. So I picked up this one by Sephora. Okay, that was ridiculous. You'd think I was trying to get into like a Hakukoto brush or something, but we made it. This is actually nothing like I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a lot more round online, but I'll give it a go. This one is definitely like pretty flat, but it is supposed to be a concealer brush. Okay, you guys are on top of a pillow right now. I'm gonna try the Crest White Strips. I just brushed my teeth. So here's the before, let's see if it does anything. My yellow, my yellow, my bottom teeth are a bit more yellow. And they don't take to whitening as well, my bottom teeth, for some reason. Uh, but my top ones usually whiten up pretty fast. So it says you're supposed to do this, I think it said like five days in a row or something, for 30 minutes each. So it's the next day, uh, I think, since I left you guys. I took the two Aim of Vig shots last night. I didn't film it because I was at my boyfriend's house, but we just walked around Green Lake. Wait, what am I doing? All right. Hot rose on. This is super long. How the heck do I get this in my mouth? They're not really like hot. Hey. All right, they feel like they're on there. So I'm gonna set a timer. Okay, so I ended up leaving them on for about 28 minutes, I wanna say. And here's the 
after after one use you guys think it looks any different I, my bottom i feel like doesn't look a whole lot different but like i said my bottom teeth it usually takes like twice the amount as my top so sometimes I'll, I'll only do my bottom to get it even to my top but my top i feel like for sure look whiter but yeah i'm gonna keep trying it my teeth don't feel sensitive right now can we just all agree that this flavor of dasani sparkling needs to be banned from the earth this literally tastes like vodka soda all right so it's halloween night and we're just going to this like pumpkin donut brewery beer tasting thing uh so i'm not really wearing halloweeny stuff because we already dressed up over the weekend but Here's my outfit. So this dress I got a while ago from Forever 21. The sweater was in my Target haul from this year. Comfiest thing ever. I've gotten so much use out of this already. I wear it literally almost every single day. And then these boots, no idea where these are from. Probably Nordstrom Rack like years ago, a couple years ago. And then here's my makeup for the night. I tried this foundation again, which I haven't used since I had oily skin from Foundation Friday or 15 Nights of Foundation like probably season two or around there this is the etude house big cover concealer bb and i sprayed it with my catrice setting spray after and i think it looks pretty nice it looks a little bit textured -y in certain spots but i could probably mix this with something and like it now and then my lips i put on that thing that i just showed you guys from sephora the serum thing it feels like it absorbs actually really nicely into the lips it doesn't look super plumping or anything and it doesn't feel tingly i thought it was going to be like a tingly plumping kind of lip gloss it doesn't give me the same kind of effect that my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask does. just made it to my airbnb and i'm on like a farm <laughs> i think it's like 10 miles or 15 miles outside of portland this place is so cool even if you live in portland and you want like a little getaway this view is unreal and the place is super cute but check this out so i'll show you a little tour of here first but look at the view i'm on a like the family's farm their house is right behind here found this place on airbnb i'll leave a link for it down below i also have a i think it's 40 dollars off your first airbnb if you've never used it i'm an airbnb addict i love airbnb so much more fun than hotels i stopped and got taco bell on the way here whoops I actually have in that one drawer has pajamas in it and the rest of it is like there's always that part of getting these clips where then you have to actually get up and turn off the camera so next morning this is my getting ready setup right here with such a beautiful view and it's sunny today in portland this mirror i got off of amazon it's awesome for travel i'll link it down below it's like giant but then it just folds down to like an ipad case almost and it came in the most beautiful packaging just made some coffee and i'm gonna shower get ready attempt to take some instagram photos in here because it's so pretty i'm just playing back my video before i export it i got two videos edited last night which was a success and then I'm gonna head out of here. I'm gonna do a no foundation day today. That's what I did yesterday, I wasn't wearing any. So when I do that, all I do is put on my sunscreen, my SPF, and my moisturizer. And then I go in with my Flower Beauty concealer. And I just conceal mostly just a little bit underneath my eyes and I don't set this with powder. I just use a really tiny bit and it usually works out fine. If I do this with like full on foundation, it does not work. But if I don't have any other makeup on, it like somehow works. And I'm just kind of use that to tone down any like major discoloration. My face is looking a lot more red on camera right now. I've been loving this Joa pencil. I do like adding bronzer when I do this though, because it just warms up my face a little bit. <gasps> oh no. It totally shattered. Bronzer and highlights arrived, but the blush is a little bit dead. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll try a little... I haven't tried this without liquid foundation. I'm gonna try it. Oh wait, I don't have my big powder brush. Okay, I'm just gonna... Wait, do I? No, I guess I forgot that. I'm just gonna tone this down. 
using this powder. Kind of like blend right on top. Whatever's left over. I've never done this. I just want to try this with this powder. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Just like took some of the redness down. Mm, that actually looks pretty good. And then I'm going to spray my Catrice setting spray over top. Still drying down right now, but you can see the glow. If you were ever wondering how I take my Instagram photos, here's my Instagram husband. I just put it on video usually and then screenshot it because doing the self timer is way harder. So if you just put on video mode and then screenshot on your computer, it's way easier. Over here? Oh yeah, we never used it once. We never used it we once. In Cape. Sorry if that's a weird angle, but you guys are either gonna be like hell low or hell high. You're in my medicine cabinet right now but i figured i would take off my makeup with you guys and kind of get ready for the night while i explain what the heck happened in oregon what the heck did happen in oregon so i got like a a delusional clip basically in the middle while all this is going on so i will pop that in right here so i am in oregon but i actually came down with this uh stomach bug or i don't even know what i've just been drinking Gatorade and whatever this is. Rach is here. So hopefully this goes away soon. I got what I thought was some kind of like intense food poisoning that gave me like, you know, the usual food poisoning lovely things, but also really weird like intense stomach cramping and just weird like lower stomach pain, which I figured out was likely norovirus, but then blood came out of places that should not come out. So I had to go to the ER and they didn't really know why that happened, they're still not really sure. They still don't really know if it's Noro or if it was Noro. Thankfully, Rachel's was with me and we were just joking because we go to the ER literally about every three months together, three to four months, so we were about due for an ER visit. We've got our ER routine down at this point. This was supposed to be like a friend reunion kind of trip. Had a fun day Friday at least, like got to go to a volleyball game. We did a lot Friday and then Friday night was when all of this hit. I have a local lipstick on right now. And it lasted through to Sunday. Things happen. I'm just glad I was able to drive down. Let me wash this off. Oh shit, the mirror's on the thingy. One thing I cannot stand in this new place is the size of this friggin' sink. Water gets all over the floor when I wash my face. First world problems. That was my fresh Seabury cleansing oil. Almost out of this stuff. I'm gonna go in with my hydrating and my cellar water. Do not use this stuff on your eyes. Fair warning, it's not really a micellar water. I have no idea why they call it this. It's basically like more of a toner. I use it in the morning and at night if I don't wash my face in the shower. If I wash my face in the shower, I usually don't use this because I feel like it gets everything off a little bit better. So yeah, <laughs> Oregon didn't exactly turn out as planned. This vlog is basically like a giant weird health thing vlog. I also got this massive uh, blister. I burned myself on the hot pack on my stomach when I was going through all the stomach. And I got this blister. <laughs> it is literally that big and it's yellow. So I had to pop it today. Today, it's Monday. So I drove back yesterday and I still was feeling pretty shitty yesterday, but I wasn't like throwing up or anything anymore. I still had the stomach thing going on, but I did drive back. I just wanted to get home. The Airbnb lady was so sweet and she offered to like make me homemade soup and she said I could stay there an extra night. Um, but I just wanted to, you know, you just want to like get back in your own bed. And then today, Monday, you guys are seeing this clip the same week that this vlog's going up on Thursday. But today I feel a lot better. Like my stomach still feels a, almost just like bloated now, but it's not anything like how it was the last couple days. So that's good. Getting better, popped my blister, living life. All the things I'm sure you guys want to know about in a vlog. I'm going to put on my Drunk Elephant TLC Night Serum. Thankfully I had Monday's and Wednesday's video for this week already pre-filmed and edited and stuff. So I didn't have to do, you know, a whole lot of filming today. I got actually a lot of work done today. I went to a coffee shop because there were construction guys here. Got most of this vlog edited, got another video edited, and then did some Beauty Wishes Putty Beauty Share work stuff. I need to film tomorrow's Foundation Friday. When you guys are seeing this, it'll be tomorrow. So I'm hoping that tomorrow I can do that. Tomorrow is a super exciting day because I'm picking up a foster dog. Yay, I'm so excited to meet her. Her name is Love. You guys will probably see it 
in the foundation friday video if i end up being able to film that tomorrow morning before i go pick her up i'm going to use my ordinary rosehip oil cannot live without this stuff let me know if you guys want a full skincare routine coming these are just a few products i use but i do have a lot of others that i kind of rotate in and out and my morning skincare routine is totally different just to use it up I like to put a little bit of this down my chest. This is the Fresh Seaberry Face Oil. I don't like this as much for my face, so I just want to try and use it up. So I'm going to just bring it down my neck. Always want to bring your skincare down your neck, ladies. Your decollete. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog. I feel like I'm leaving out some details that I was meaning to tell you about the whole organ thing. Can't really remember. Moral of the story. Stuff happens, glad I had a good first day there and I'm feeling better today. But I love you guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you do like vlogs and you want me to continue doing them, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so I know. I do appreciate it, I love reading your comments on vlogs. It's like my favorite type of video to read comments on because they're just so like different than makeup video comments a lot of times. So I do really love reading your comments. I try and reply to as many as I can, heart them. Love a good heart. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. By the way, hope everyone voted.